Hey there, I just got back from class and uh, got my uh, my term test finally back. Uh, 91 and 94 and 84 respectively. So I got back from the place where I uh, have been talking about for the last couple of days. And I've got my first uh, Doctor Who haul. This is kind of a video update plus Doctor Who box collection update. I'm really proud here guys, so uh, let's get to these right now. and. Uh, I've updated my Doctor Who collection with some pretty awesome stuff. <clears throat> First up, I have the Myths and Legends collection. I've been wanting this one for a while. It's uh, mostly for the, the one Time Monsters. Time Monster, but... I should look at this for a sec. Uh, all names are verified by the, uh, by the people. So, uh, this one here uh, is signed by, uh, well... I'll do this here. That's Katie Manning, who of course is uh, Joe, and uh, well, I gotta get this right now. Whew, I'm tired. Uh, Franklin, we got Richard Franklin with Mike Yates. We have uh, it signed by Sergeant Benton himself. Uh, and uh, that's John Levine. And on the back, it's uh, on the back, it's really cool because it's uh, signed by uh, Terrence Dix, the uh, script, uh, one of the most prolific writers of uh, Doctor Who. Wow. <clears throat> Now, uh, Horns of Neon did not, was an autograph, it was just part of the collection. <clears throat> but, uh, Underworld is in this one as well, and it's signed by Louise Jameson, of course, who played Layla on the uh, Leela and Doctor Who. And, uh, three very cool stories. Uh, it's a three disc set. I love the look of the, uh, of the British versions of the uh, Doctor Who, of course they do it best, because, you know, that's, that's kind of what they do. And, uh, this really updates my, uh, my collection. <clears throat> that's like the entire unit, except for the Brigadier, which I, I can get actually later. Next up, I uh, picked up, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this one next, Ace Adventures. And I, I didn't even, this wasn't even listed on his, uh, Thing, but I'm a big fan of, uh, I think Sylvester McCoy and uh, the character of Ace are very highly underrated. It's only recently that they've gotten the, uh, the deserve. And this one uh, has a uh, one that's a uh, Dragonfire. It's signed by uh, Sophie Aldred. I really wanted this, this set. I'm a big, big fan of this. I'm especially big fan of... Uh, I'm an especially big fan of the uh, story Happiness Patrol, which has uh, if you know a lot of if you know much about Doctor Who, you know this is a, pretty much as close to a dark noirish story as uh, Doctor Who would ever get. It is if you haven't seen this one, the Candyman is kind of a freaky character. You can see him up there. And it was quite the, uh, you know, the political uproar about the story. Uh, i got to say, I'm a huge fan. So I have the first Ace episode, the uh, Dragonfire. I think that's Ace goes out, I think. It's the first story. Yeah, Ace comes, well, Mel goes out and Ace comes in. Literally cliffhanger. Literally. Uh, next up, I picked up uh, a, a classic Dr. True box set. And uh, it's the Space Museum and the Chase. And this one is autographed by one person. And in case you're wondering who it is, it was uh, William Russell who played at uh, Ian Chesterton, the uh, the first guy in the uh, TARDIS with uh, And uh, the Chase is a two disc set. That's, uh, of course, the, uh, the Daleks. Um, love the story. Very cool stuff, and the Space Museum is there as well. And you know, I'm, I think the Space Museum is actually a, a highly, highly underrated uh, story in the Doctor Who uh, 
just some really great stuff. Man, I can't believe how. Yeah, he had these there. I couldn't believe it. Uh, the Chase, I think, is the last Barbara and Ian episode. So uh, that'll be interesting to see that. I don't know if I've actually seen that since it's been on, since I watched it back years ago on uh, PBS. Um, next up is this box set here, Revenge of the Cybermen, Silver and Nemesis. It's the uh, Doctor Who, uh, well, it's a Cyberman box set. And this one is signed. you got to see the box on this one first. This is one of my... Uh, yeah. This one is signed by uh, Tom Baker. That's awesome. Uh, Tom Baker was my doctor. It's uh, John Pertwee was the uh, now this guy here has like a bunch of he's got the whole Target books and stuff like that. He actually has uh, some Target books uh, signed by uh, Patrick Trout and John Pertwee. He's uh, he's old enough to have met both of the actors, uh, both Pertwee and Trout, and uh, he is uh, pretty much he's the Doctor Who expert for here. Uh, he's from England, and uh, first up. I have uh, this one here, signed by uh, Sophie Aldred and Sylvester McKay, so it's another Doctor signature I've gotten. A Silver Nemesis was their uh, anniversary episode, and I, uh, a lot of people didn't like, you know, like it, but I like, I like anything Cyberman. Uh, yeah, their Silver Anniversary episode, 25th, 25 years, so it kind of made sense that uh, Doctor Who would use their uh, Silver villain, a, a Cyberman, in this uh, story. This, uh, can't wait to rewatch this one. I really like this story, actually. And, uh, next up, well, you saw the Tom Baker one on the outside. There actually is a, uh, it's signed on the inside as well, and it's signed by someone I'm actually very, very proud to have his autograph. And, uh, that is, uh, Doctor Who's greatest producer, uh, Philip Henchcliffe. It's from the uh, Hinchcliffe and Holmes era of Doctor Who. And Revenge of the Cybermen is a, it's a cool one. I think this one has a... So I know this one has Sarah, and I'm not sure. I think this one has... Hmm. Harry as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the, the first se series of uh, of Tom Baker. And, uh... Yeah, because there was Robot, Ark in Space... Oh, God. Robot, Ark in Space... Oh, no, it's not on. I don't have it up on my television yet. I should have, though. But I'm, I'm going to be picking up more of these. Uh, he has a lot. And uh, I can't afford to get very many more, but I'm going to be getting a couple more. I can't wait to look into the features on some of this stuff here. There's just such great stuff. Uh, you have no idea how excited I am to have like some of these autographs from Tom Baker, Sylvester McCoy, from uh, Louise Jameson, uh, Philip Hinchcliffe, Terrence Dix, uh, especially Terrence Dix. Uh, if you watch the Doctor Who show uh, and you buy, buy the DVDs, then you know how, what a cool uh, guy that he is for uh, for this type of stuff. Again, I picked up uh, the Cyberman box set that they brought out, The Revenge of Cyberman Silver Nemesis. Uh, this is one that I highly recommend. There is a documentary called uh, Checks, Lies, and Videotapes, I think it is, on this. And basically... It talks about that era of Doctor Who when you couldn't get it. And be, basically it talks about the tape trading era. So if you don't know about the whole uh, tape trading era of uh, of collecting, if DVDs or Blu-rays or downloads are the first thing that you've seen for uh, collecting, you really owe it to yourself to watch this, even if you're not a Doctor Who fan, to watch this here and see exactly what it was like for us trying to get some of this, these shows and what it was like for people trying to get movies and stuff back in the day. That was just so hard to get. People were, were uh, trading tapes and just incredible stuff. Uh, a Space Museum and the Chase to see uh, Ian's and Barbara's last episodes. It's going to be uh, pretty cool. I think of this as uh, Peter Purvis's Stevens first. So that'll be pretty interesting to watch as well. I, uh, Hartnell was the last Doctor that I got into story-wise. He was not my favorite uh, in the start, but I... Uh, Really enjoyed them. Uh, Ace Adventures. I'm just a huge fan of this era of Doctor Who. I think it's highly underrated. Uh, some great stories came out around, came out from this time. From Dragon Far, The Happiness Patrol. We got like Survival. We got Christopher Fenric. I don't have those stories by the way, but those are ones that are you know came this era. Uh, 
just some really great stuff. Ghost Light. But uh, for me, the Happiness Patrol is one of his best. Uh, done completely at night. Uh, it's just a really dark episode. Be happy or else type of thing. Uh, Myths and Legends. I really wanted the Time Monster. I'm a huge fan of uh, of the Master. Uh, Underworld, because Layla is beautiful. And Horns of Nimon. I don't really remember it. I mean, uh, this one has uh, Layla Ward as Romana in this one, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, there was a good documentary on here about uh, Blue Peter and Doctor Who, which is uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. So uh, I might actually check that one out first. Because I'm a huge fan. Uh, again, these all have these great booklets. They're, these that I got today were in mint condition. I think he got these. He had multiple copies of uh, some of this stuff. Like, not signed. We had stuff they had for his watching collection. And stuff that he was just collecting as well. Uh, incredible. Incredible. Uh, Myths and Legends. The legendary stories of Atlantis, Jason the Argonauts, and the Minotaur. Get a Doctor Who makeover in these classic 1970s adventures love this stuff. I'm going to just go add this to my collection of uh, Doctor Who DVDs, and then I'm going to be back on here after I upload this to uh, keep going with my uh, Doctor Who DVD uh, box set. And hopefully you guys are liking it, and hopefully you've commented by now and liked it. Uh, if you're a Doctor Who fan at all, I expect to comment. Thanks a lot for watching, and for me right now, it's time to take out a bottle of water, because we don't have any water yet, and make some tea. It's time for tea.